Hello, Diane. How are you? Happy Thursday. It's, it's uh, Friday Eve. I'm super excited for, uh, obviously, this weekend. That will be fun. Can y'all hear me okay? Let's see who's joining us. Time to get the glasses off. Who else is joining us? Hi, Anne. Hi, Maddie. My sweet husband is joining us today. He's going to get his craft on. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to get technology working. How is everybody today? Are you nice and warm and cozy? It's starting to finally warm up a little bit here. You're sick again? Oh, kids and their germs. I'm telling you, it's not fun. I'm sorry you're sick. I hope you feel better for Christmas. But we all know that crafting can help you feel better, so you're in good company and we'll just make you we'll just wish you better. That's what we'll do, Diane. Let's see. Let's see if I can see the comments. Every time I go to look at the comments, I freeze up. Hello, Lois. How are you today? Hi, Michelle. All right, so um, as you can see, it's me. You're stuck with me again today. Um, but Joyce is still with Alan, and um, Alan is feeling a little better. He's perked up a little bit. Um, he got some rest. And, uh, but they're keeping him there and Joyce is with him. She said she might jump on and say hi to everybody. And, um, <laughs> thanks Michelle, not stuck, but blessed. Okay. You're not stuck with me, but I'm not your normal face that you get to see. <laughs> um, so yes, Alan is feeling a little bit better. we we'll still keep them in your prayers. Um, as you know, of caring for a loved one takes a lot of energy and a lot of emotion and it's exhausting and so keep Joyce in your prayers as well um, because the more the better and um, she she just sounded really tired today so but um, good news that Alan is perked up a little bit he got some rest last night he's feeling a little bit better um, so yeah that's the scoop there um, I put out a little housekeeping. Hi, Diana. Hi, Verna. You're wrapping presents. Can you please come to my house and wrap them? Because I have a feeling it's going to be down to the wire this year as far as wrapping presents. So, um, what else? I, there she is. There's the Joycenator. Welcome, Joyce, to Facebook Live. You're at BoQ Creations. Um going to have a good time and you're in good company. You tried the wax. How did it go? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait to hear about it, Diana. Um, ooh, maybe home for Christmas. I can't cross my fingers, but fingers crossed. Um, lots of prayers. Lots, lots, lots. Okay. Well, so this morning my girls got off to school and of course it's Thursday and they have a half a day tomorrow so they still have to uh, go to school and mentally everybody's checked out. Everybody is <laughs> checked out and ready for Christmas vacation to start and as the mom who you know has to get this done, this is na 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 there's always last minute things to do. Always, always, always. So I um, was up in my craft room this morning and I was quickly, hastily getting things together and I was like, if I'm like this, then there must be other people. And honestly, guys, go in your room, find something, it will work, you can do it. Um, so I have one set of my candy bar wrappers that um, we did in a class. I have one die left and so I thought I would show you that today. Hi Cherie. Um, I thought I would show you how I make them. 
they turn out so stinking cute. And I had to run to the store and pick up some Hershey bars, so now I have chocolate in the house. Um, but anyway, that being said, I got my girls some little treats to give to their friends, give to the extra teachers. Um, just that nice little thing that just says, Merry Christmas, I'm thinking about you. Here's a little treat. So um, with that, let's get started. I'll point my camera down and I'll start showing you the things that I have uh, right in front of me. Some I brought some things out also that I did back in July and... <laughs> There's no mean boss that makes her do the live. Nope, nope, nope. I'm happy to do this. Happy. So happy. Okay, let me turn my camera down. Hang on with me as you go for a little ride. Hopefully I won't make anybody too sick. Um, let's see. I can't really pan out too much. Let's see if I can raise this a little bit. I'm a little close to my workspace. I have my little teal Christmas tree here. Um, that I got that in Florida when I was down there with Joyce not too long ago. And um, so I have it lit today and it, it just makes me happy because it's like Joyce is crafting in here with me. Okay, glasses are coming off. We're going to get to work here. Okay, so back in July, I made this treat box. It was with the Graphic 45 and it was so fun to make and it's just no dyes are needed. Um, and I put little chocolates in here. These chocolates already came wrapped super duper cute. Um, and just stuck those in there. Like I said, no dye needed for this one. Hi, Kathleen. Hello, Uncle Gary. Welcome to my live. Thanks for joining and saying hi. I'm going to play and get a little crafting done. So, um, you know, look away in case any of these things come your way. Um, I made this one also back in July. And this one is also just a little candy bar holder. And it opens up. I cut this on my silhouette. Again, the candy bars came all wrapped super cute already. And, um... So that's just a fun little thing. I think I'm going to give this to the crossing guard um, at my girls' school. So so that was fun. And then, um, you know, as you know, in the tag swap, I did the lip balms. And this one was just taking, a, a, making it a, more of a slim line. Um, yes, Joyce, you do need to make some for the nurses. That's a great idea. Um, this was just a slimline pad of paper and I just simply cut out the little spot and I got these little pl plastic things at, um, on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, so that was, th those are those fun little chocolates. And then the last time I was with Joyce, I brought her a little shaker ornament round holder. I don't remember. I don't know if you guys remember that. But this is the die that is used that I used to create this, and it is one that we are getting. It is on order right now, and um, I took a chocolate covered cherry, and the hole was obviously very too big for for the cherry. If I were to put that in there, it's too big, so I had to make it smaller. So I folded it over, and I create cut it apart, and I created a little. Um, spine for it and um, I put that little chocolate covered cherry in there and a little string so you can just hang it on your Christmas tree or um, you know add it to a present as a little tag um, so these are on order I don't remember off the top of my head how much they're, they are but um, if you want one, let me know, and I'll make sure to put your name down for one when we get them, because there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. I'm going to bring this back out again, probably for January or February, Valentine's Day or Easter, so um, those are coming. So, and then, like I said, 
this is the one that we're going to do today. And I fell in love with this um, adorable die. And it is very fairly, it is very easy to put together. And all it holds is just one chocolate bar. You could probably put two in there, actually. Um, yep, enough room for two. Um, and this is just a fancy way of handing somebody a piece of chocolate. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's all about the presentation. We, we look, uh, we, we eat with our eyes first. Um, and it same goes true, I think, for paper crafting. When you hand somebody a gift or something like that, we, we definitely see it with our eyes first and, um, and then I want to touch it also. But, um, so those are, that's what we're going to make today. And it just, I just took the chocolate bar and I covered it with some printed paper that matched this set of printed paper. This is, um, just some acetate to make a open cover so that people could see what was inside. This die set does come with a Merry Christmas and a Happy Valentine's Day. And um, then you just basically fold it right up. Let's see. Fold it right up. You put a little bit of glue in there. There we go. So it folds like that and you just uh, Put a little bit of glue. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sherry, I know. <laughs> but chocolate's a good little treat every once in a while. And I bought special d dark chocolate, so I don't feel quite so guilty. Does anybody buy that? So anyway, I thought um, all I needed to do is just add a little tag to it and glue it together, and it is set to go. So with that being said, let's get started on one. Like I said, this this die um, comes with many different pieces. It comes with this one. It comes with a decorative frame that could go around the outside. It comes with the opening to cut, to put the acetate in. And it comes with a Merry Christmas and the silhouette for it. And it comes with a Happy Valentine's Day and the silhouette for the Valentine's Day as well. So. Um, you get quite a bit in here. Um, <laughs> choice. <laughs> Add to cart. Um, so these are, and it's, like I said, super simple. It comes with one piece. You cut it out twice so that you can make your box. And other than some glue and a little bit of imagination of how you want to decorate it, um, yes, thank you for buying my healthy chocolate excuse because that makes me feel a lot better. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's folding along the score lines, adding some glue, um, and, and moving on and out the door you go and hand it to your kiddos and tell it to give them to the bus driver. So, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do with this one that I'm getting done today and give it to our bus driver because... He takes great care of our kids and makes sure they get home safe and what a blessing that is to not have to worry about them because there's crazy drivers out there. Linda Bosley, would you like me to add this to your cart? I will be happy to. I will be happy to order more as well. If you guys want some more, just let me know. I do have this only, only one left, so it's going to Linda. She has claimed it. Um... And uh, I will get that off into the mail for you because I, I can't guarantee that you're going to get it before Christmas, though, hon. But you'll have it in time for Valentine's Day, and that will be you, that will be just as cute as well because oh, some of the Valentine papers that I've seen coming out, they're awesome. So, okay, so like I said, it's just a little glue. I am not going to make an opening on this one. I wanted to try and make it just box-like. And so I'm not going to do the acetate, so it's just a little bit of glue along the lines of my glue stopped up. And of course, I lost my pin. One second. <laughs> They're going to want to see the Valentine's kit. Yes, they are. That is, I think, December 28th, right? We are having a special evening with with Jennifer 
she's gonna come over to Joyce's and uh, introduce the kit and call the lady at BoQ that's right um, and we're going to have a lot of fun <laughs> call the lady at BoQ for the pins yes I, I just I lost my pin like literally on the floor just a few moments ago so it's here somewhere I'll find my little magnet and go for it okay I am just adding the little bit of glue there and I'm going to add a strip of glue here liquid adhesive probably the best thing gives you a little bit of wiggle time um, I like to put my adhesive on lay it down and then I take my bone folder and um, I think my bone folder walked off to the other table when my friend was here crafting with me a couple weeks ago um, and I haven't retrieved it yet so I'm using the short one but the long one would work a lot lots better here um, so I go in there with my bone folder and just kind of get that glue to set in there and then I do the other side Make sure it's all nice and even so it's nice and square. You can even stick in your little, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes, the redheaded stepchild's kids table. That's where I put Joyce. If you come craft with me, I'm not giving you my spot. I'm going to give you the table <laughs> with the extra redheaded step kids supplies. Sorry. Um, so I, sometimes you can take, I don't have my you know what, you take your acrylic block and take the one that's just completely square and you can put that up in there and then that will help create that 90 degree angle so it's nice and square um, for you. I just don't happen to have that right at my, my hand. So I'm just gonna go with what I got. Close this up. I'm gonna adhere it as best as I can from the top part but then lay it down and then put my bone folder in there and kind of press down to um, make sure that that adhesive is sticking to my paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. I'm telling you, it's all about that paper that you use. I, I mean, I have boxes and boxes of Christmas paper that what the heck am I going to do with? And I wanted some something silly and fun and lighthearted, but I, I have tons of vintage stuff, and this would make a totally beautiful vintage um, little candy bar box. What is wire? Oh, those are my lights that I bought that are supposed to beat to music, but they aren't working at all. So I think I drained the battery. My wires are all loose and coming apart, Joyce. That's just the way it is. All right, guys, look at how cute this is coming together. And all it did was was paper and some glue. That's it. That's it. All right. So I decided, like I said, that I wasn't going to. I'm going to set this aside for now and let it dry. I'm going to take some paper um, uh, to wrap my candy bar and also my Merry Christmas. That doesn't want to come out of there. Pokey tool, get your pokey tool. All right, I don't want to lose that eye because I always lose those little boogers, you know, like I just did. Where did they go? Oh, right there. All right, so pop this out. I love the font that they did for this die. Um, it's small, but yet it's um, there's some substance to it. It doesn't feel like it's too flimsy that it's going to rip, and I like that. Okay, and so we'll put that guy down there. Pop out the Merry Christmas. Oh, yes. Oh, jewelry. Um, is my husband watching? I could make a box, honey, 
and you can fill it and put it on the tree. I'd be okay with that with some jewelry. That sounds like a very nice little gift. What a great idea, Joyce. All right. This paper pad that I got from, who knows? I don't even know where I got it from. It's so old, but so fun. All right, we're going to do, oh, look at my husband's like, yes. Yes, you can make a box and I'll fill it with jewelry. Look at that. He picks up on the hints well, guys. All right, I'm just doing Joyce's little trick here. Oh yeah, that's right. Diana's coming. That will be so fun. Hopefully uh, you guys will get to spend some good time together and maybe do a little bit of crafting. That will be a lot of fun. Alrighty. Got the Mary on and the Christmas. Um, so last night I had so much fun playing around with that wax and you know my the new mixed media that um, I figured out how to do and uh, now I've been looking at all kinds of paper today and I was like oh that would be beautiful that way oh I gotta try that oh that would be awesome so I have lots of playing to do with with this uh, whole wax and crayons thing also I heard from a little Joyce Birdie that um, Boku Creations can get you that little iron that I was using last night. Um, it will be $29.95. And uh, yes, you had wax all over. I, I as well. Um, the good thing is, is that, you know, what picks up wax off of your surface is alcohol, just some rubbing alcohol. So I cleaned my surface really well with some alcohol this morning and got that wax off. But um, so anyway, if you are looking for, um, <laughs> my sister's on. Hi, Amanda. And she's hooking them up with a jeweler. I love this. This is working out very well. It, it, this is great. Um, but we got the irons. We'll, we'll get them in for you and they'll be $29.95. And, uh, then you have one of those little irons to, um, make, uh, an awesome little, <laughs> waxy mixed media craft for somebody. Um, let's see. I need some paper now to wrap my little candy bar in now that I got the, the dye done. Let's see. I bought this chocolate. I'm not going to lie because it has the red, um, little label or, or packaging is red on it and I thought that would add such a cute little uh, a little interest to my candy bar and I didn't have to wrap the whole thing and, and hide it so um, I'm just going to this is how I measure things guys um, not great greatly so scientific but it works for me and that's the way I like to do it um, I am going to just kind of wrap this around there and then cut it again. And all right, if I want to, I could take this and go to my st scoreboard and score the lines and stuff like that. But I really don't feel like that's really completely necessary. I am going to put a little adhesive down on all the spots just so that the candy bar sticks in there um, and get it lined up as best as possible. Now I'll add a little bit of adhesive to um, these ends so it's nice and tight and pretty and, you know, <laughs> yeah, the whole family is here. That's true, Mom. All right. See, just by adding that little bit of printed piece of paper, oh my goodness, isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. Okay, so now we could add all kinds of fun little things here. I'm telling you, this paper was so cute. It came with um, a, a whole paper page that had some really cute things on it to make an advent calendar. And um, it's just so stinking adorable. It, it will add a lot of little... Uh, little 
accoutrements to my candy bar wrapper. And then this is the point where we can zhuzh some things up, which I think I'm going to do. Mm, a little big. A little big. Let's take it over to the paper trimmer and see what we can do about that. Cut it down a little bit. We could always fussy cut. Maybe we'll fussy cut. That's a great idea. Um, if I could find my fussy cutting scissors. Rudolph is cute. I mean, this whole... Look at how sweet he is. Look at those eyes. So sweet. Oh my gushness, right? It's an old, old paper pack. Alright, so I will quickly just kind of fussy cut out these candy canes. So what... So at Christmas time... Do you typically listen to Christmas music like the day after Halloween and then uh, until New Year's? Are you about sick about sick of it about now and ready to listen to re regular stuff? I mean, for me, I personally have been listening to Christmas music since July just to kind of help get me in the mood to start making Christmas stuff because here in South Carolina in July, it's rather hot. And humid and it's very hard to think cold and winter wishes and stuff like that so it takes me a while and um, yes Michelle I agree I, the day after Halloween here they started playing um, on the ra regular radio but then on Sirius XM it took them a little bit longer so but you know the great thing is I can just tell my my Alexa product to start singing to me and she plays whatever I, I tell her to. And right now I am so into Christmas jazz. I have Christmas jazz playing in the background very softly. It just is what I enjoy listening to right now. And um, I, I have to tell you a funny story. My, my 10 year old and her friends at school started a little singing group and there's three girls and one boy and so they're called the three, the one king, one king and three queens. That's what they're called. And so they wanted to get together and practice singing. And I asked the moms if they would be willing to, um, <laughs> if they'd be willing to take the kids to a nursing home and sing for the, the clients at the nursing home. And so they were all on board, so we all got together and met there one day. And the girl, the kids all sang, and it was so sweet. And um, they interacted with the clients, and they handed out candy canes. But, you know, they didn't sing the typical, like, Frosty the Snowman or Jingle Bell songs. No, they sang, like, Last Christmas and Jingle Bell Rock. And <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Not the typical Christmas songs that you <laughs> would expect a ten, four 10-year-olds to be singing. But it was so sweet and just so precious, and it put such a smile on, on all those clients' face, and they were dancing and having fun, and it was great for these kids to get together and um, just love on, on the clients there, and uh, just made my heart happy. But, you know, when you think that they're going to do something so cute and fun and then realize they're really doing a difficult five-minute song, <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. Oh, look at how cute that is. That's so sweet. Sweet for the seniors. Yep. Um, the more the more love that... It's just a near and dear thing to my heart. Um, my grandma always took me to nursing homes uh, to visit a lot of family at the time. But um, something near and dear to me that I just think, like, you can't forget about them. They... They are special people who um, just need a little bit of extra love and, and you know, know, know that they're not forgotten about. Just something special to my heart. Okay, so I'm going to get this closed up and put some embellishments on the front. And Diana's at it again. 
She's got her all my hell. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive in here. And then press these two together so it forms one. And this is the space where you can you can either just leave it, you can um, add a little piece of ribbon to it. Here's where you can add a little snarky thing if you have that snarky friend who um, enjoys uh, a little snarkiness during the Christmas season, which um, that's that's me. That it's me. I'm I'm that person. Um. Well, let's do Santa because he's just cute too. All right, you guys. If you can, um, well, really any time of the year, but at Christmas time especially, would be such a nice little treat for. Um, people to make little Christmas cards and get them sent off to the nursing homes and just you know in in general that was not my brown here we go um, just in general take uh, some cards down there and and just give them to the people to hand out to their clients it really does give them a smile and and uh, just something real sweet and you're good at making cards and if you're anything like me where you're really good at making cards but you're really bad at handing them out this is a perfect way to do it you don't have to send them you just take them there and ask them to give them out to their clients and um, their clients are so excited to get some happy mail so I mean we all are so my little plug to don't forget the seniors this year this at this Christmas time and send them a little love and um, that's that's all that's all I think I think I'm gonna do it guys I think I'm gonna just kind of I like that Santa too he's super cute a little sparkly just adding a very touch now I'm telling you guys this little dauber is perfect for judging the sides of anything. Alan is in the bed, not coughing, eating. Well, that's good news. That's great news. What's for lunch? Um, hmm. We do have these little mini pouncers, and they are amazing, you guys. Uh, they add just the perfect touch to, um, you know, I used to, back in the day, I used to do my zhuzhing by doing this. Did anybody else do this? This is how I did it. And I got really, really good at it, just getting those sides. And, um, and, it, and it works fast, but it does leave a very crisp line, whereas this adds a little bit of it to the edge, all the edges, not just that straight edge. And I like that. Um, Sharon, these are BoQ Creation daubers, and you can get them at BoQ Creations. Yes, that is terrible for your ink pad. I, but, you know, when you didn't have the things, that's what you used, right? And there was no thing, there's no such thing as these daubers back then. So, um, that's how I used to do it. I used to teach all of my clients when I taught classes and uh, that's how I taught them how to ink those edges because that's what we had. So these um, great little daubers you can pick up at BoQ Creations if you want me to send you some. Um, just let, let me know by saying add to cart and I will make sure to get some to you. And um, But they are just fantastic because not only do they do this motion but they do this swiping motion and just add a little bit of that because you want a little bit of that there um, so these are fantastic okay well, I got that that added a lot to it didn't it all right so let's put how are we gonna do this here I'm gonna cover up I like the idea of covering up that 10 but Let's let's cut it apart. Let's 
see what we can do here. Really made it pop, didn't it, Amanda? I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, whatever, just go for it. Just get it on there. What if I lay him down and then pop that up? And then that kind of hides that number 10 because we don't want that number 10. I don't want that number 10 to show. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, a little bit of adhesive. Lay him down. And I think we're going to pop up the Merry Christmas. And I love that, you know, they give you this whole piece as one word, and that's great, and I love that, but it also gives you the option to um, to take it and cut it apart and make it work for you, guys. I mean, this is all about, when you paper craft, you got to make some of the stuff that you have work for you. And, you know, just like last night when I was realized I didn't have any wax paper in the house, and I'm like, well, I can't do that because I don't have wax paper. Well, look at what happened last night. <laughs> it was a paper crafting miracle. Well, it wasn't, but you, you get my drift. All right. All right, what were we all talking about? These are great teacher gifts, Amanda. Too bad you don't know anybody who's paper crafty and could make these for you. Just kidding. It's me. It's me. I would do that. I have done that. That's what I gave for a lot of the teachers this year. Okay. I'm going to hide that 10. Mary's going to pop up off a little bit, and that's okay. But you know what I should have done? I should have judged that side of, or the words of the Mary, but I'm going to leave it because, um, this is shiny paper that I used and it will it's just gonna sit right on top of there so it, any ink I put on there is just gonna sit on top and then smudge and I don't want that so um, the the hexacons the mini hexacon ones are perfect for this project I love them so much okay put that there what do you think guys I love it I love it it's so cute, and it, you know, turned out way different than, um, this other one that I did, and that's okay. Let's put some little adhesive on there and get this one stored away so it's ready to go and hand out to the bus driver this afternoon. Get that all lined up. And then I found this little stamp that says, let's celebrate Christmas. Cookies are mandatory. Relatives are optional. This is a perfect while well, I have my whole family watching today. Um, so, anyway. Okay. Look at how cute that one turned out as well. I will say that if you put too much pressure on when you are die cutting it, this did rip. And, um and tore. So you want to make sure you're not putting too much pressure when you went through, when it sends it through the die. But, um, gosh, these turned out so adorable. And let's not forget about the little, um, this little guy. Like I said, this die is available. Um, it's coming. We have it on order. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Um, but it is a fun little um, trinket, a little gift to give, and a fun little thing to zhuzh up. You guys, we're in, we're in it. We're in the middle of the candy season. Um, it started at Halloween, and it's really not going to end until Easter. So there's going to be lots of reasons for you to have little dyes and stuff like that that can do this. So um, you just you let us know. Um, we'll get you down for these if you want me to order some more. or If you want one of these dyes, I'm happy to get those back in. Um, I sold them out with with my class but um tons of great ideas and ways to use them um for all the candy needs so thanks for joining me and hanging out with me today i i really had fun there's a couple things i want to i want to tell you one don't forget to turn your little notification on facebook settings 
because um, Joyce and I may pop on while we're closed here just to say hey. Um, we will be closed starting tomorrow till the twenty uh, till the twenty fifth, and then on the twenty sixth we'll be back open, and we're coming to you live at noon. Um, so we are closed tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday and um, Monday, and then Tuesday we'll be back at it. And so put your little bell on so that you get notified from Facebook every time we come on live. And that's in your settings on Facebook. So don't forget to do that. Um, otherwise, I, I think that's pretty, I think I'm okay to say this. Uh, but from Joyce and Jennifer and I, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. You guys are all such a blessing to us. And thanks for being part of our world. Um, we have some really thrilling and exciting things coming to you in 2024. So, um, stick with us. And, uh, but if you have any crafting emergency, you can always, uh, email us at help at bowcucreations.com and, uh, we'll be happy to try and help, help you out. But other than that, you guys have a safe and happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and, uh, we will see you on the 26th at noon. Bye.